The beanie I'm gonna show you today looks so much like knitted, but it's actually crocheted. It is super stretchy, which is what I prefer. And on top of that, this is probably the easiest beanie I've ever made. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the stitch we're gonna be using does take some time, but with this yarn, because it's super chunky, it actually works up pretty fast. This beanie actually took me just two days to finish, and I wasn't even constantly crocheting. I did other stuff too, so it's really quick to finish, and it looks great. There are a few things I want to point out before we get started. The pattern works for any weight yarn, so if you have like weight 3 or 4, it'll work too. But please note that if any time in the video you need reference for sizing, please refer to the measurements I give you rather than how many stitches, um, how many chains, how many rows I've done because different yarns, most of the time, you need different chain number or row count to reach the same measurement. So let me show you the material. So the yarn I'm gonna be using today is Moda Vera Monkey Yarn. This is 100% acrylic, and it calls for a nine millimeter crochet hook, but with the stitch we're gonna be using, you actually wanna size up. So I'm going to be using a 10 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to begin with the slip knot. So make a slip knot and insert your hook. And make a chain. So I chained about 40 chains, and that is about 15 inches. This is the height of the beanie, including the brim part. To begin row one, we're going to chain one. In the second stitch from the hook, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and then pull the first loop through the second one. I'm going to mark this stitch. This is called a slip stitch. Then in the second stitch, insert your hook again, make a slip stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull the first loop through the second one. You want to do this pretty loosely. Otherwise, next row is going to be hard to insert your hook. Next stitch, pull up a loop. Slip stitch. Continue doing this. And as you're working more stitches, you'll notice your work starts to curl like this. This is normal. It doesn't matter what weight yarn you're using. And again, you want to do each stitch as loose as you can. So work one slip stitch in each chain, and I'll see you at the end of the chain. Last two stitches here. And we just finished row one. To begin row two, chain one. And you wanna pull this chain a bit tighter. Turn your work. That's the first slip stitch, that's the chain one. We're gonna insert our hook in the first stitch, back loop only. Make sure you find the correct back loop. And make a slip stitch. Mark this first stitch. And from here, I'm always going to mark the first stitch of a row. And then we're going to do the same 
In the next stitch, work a slip stitch. And then you just work one slip stitch in the back loop of each stitch. So I'm going to work my slip stitches all the way to the last stitch, which is marked. Last stitch, back loop. A slip stitch. Take off the stitch marker, row three, chain one, and pull a bit tighter. Turn your work. And from here, we're just going to repeat the same thing. Work one slip stitch in the back loop of each stitch all the way to the end of the row. And, and you want to mark your first stitch. So work your slip stitch all the way to the last stitch, then chain one, turn from the first stitch, back loop, slip stitch in each stitch. So continue working like that back and forth until your rows is long enough to wrap around your head. So this is what I have so far. After two skeins of yarn, this is what I have left. I've done 76 rows, but what matters for this project is not the row count, but how wide the panel is. And this stitch is very stretchy. So when you measure it, you want to stretch it out slightly. Um, so you want to first measure your head circumference. I'm going to do 21 inches. That's about how big my head is. So I want to measure it. I'm going to stretch it out slightly. And you can see when I slightly stretch it out, it measures about 21 inches. Okay, so once you get to your head circumference, we're going to join the two ends together. Just fold it in half like this and join from this side. We don't have a right or wrong side yet, so you can do it from either side. Okay, so as you can see, my working yarn is here. After I finish the last slip stitch, I chain one. So we're going to join these two ends all the way to here and then close off the top right here. So basically, when we pick up the stitches here, we're going to insert in both loops like that. So when you insert your hook, you would have two loops on your hook. And for the other side, when you pick up a stitch, we're going to insert in the back loop only. So you'll only have one stitch on your hook. So I'm going to insert my hook in the first stitch. Like I said, both loops, and then I'm going to pull this loop through. And chain one. Then insert your hook in the next stitch, both loops. And the next stitch on the other side, which is this one. That's the first stitch. That's the second one. Insert your hook in the back loop only and make a slip stitch. Next stitch, two loops. The other side, back loop. Yarn over, pull through, slip stitch. I'll do eight of the slip stitches like this. Okay, 
Okay, this is the last one. So this is going to be the broom. And then after that, you want to flip your work inside out. And then you want to switch the edges. So on this side, back loop only. And the other side, both loops. Make sure you get the correct corresponding stitch. And slip stitch. Next stitch, back loop only, and then both loops. Slip stitch. And then you're going to continue doing this to the end of the row. Last stitch, back loop, and both loops. And then I'm going to chain one. Next, we're going to be using a yarn needle to close off the top. I actually think this side looks better, so this is going to be the right side, and the wrong side look like this. But it's up to you, you can use either side, and if you fold up the brim, it'll work for either side. This is going to be consistent. So I got my yarn needle ready, and I'm just going to thread through the stitches in and out like this and I'm gonna go around the top And after that, I'm just going to sew up the opening. And after that, you just fasten off on the wrong side. So I'm going to go on the wrong side. And I'm going to turn the beanie inside out and fasten off here. I can tie these two together. And then I'm going to cut this yarn. And this is what it looks like on the right side. And then the beanie is done.